Hi, it's Goldfraz here and the reason I'm making this video is because I wanted to share why I think that making great free content and posting it online is the best way to make money for any size business and it's something that all businesses should understand. Now, I'm doing this because I actually teach businesses about this. I work with small to medium businesses and startups and I want to sort of explain how this organic method of marketing can be an excellent lead generation tool in the long in the long run if if done correctly so that's yeah that's what i'm going to go into today now if you don't know who i am by the way my name is Goldfraz. i'm a social media manager and i'm on a mission to make building an online presence for businesses as easy as possible with my organic marketing methods this video like i said is going to be about why i think that um, organic marketing is the best way to make money and I've got some notes over here, so I'm going to go through these notes and um, I might be looking down to refer to them because it's going to be as quick and as concise as it can be. So yeah, let's get into it. Now, I mean, first of all, I mean, why, why should you care what I think? Well, I've been doing what I've been doing for the past 18 months and I'm, you know, I've, I've seen a lot of what works in, in the industry and what doesn't work in the industry. And I think I'm at a stage now where I'm like, yeah, okay, so this is what's wrong with general social media management. You need to be able to set a strong foundation before you actually start posting online as well or a strong enough foundation so that's basically the premise of the video now i think that organic marketing is very very important because it actually boosts the return on ad spend if you're running ads it actually also helps with other marketing methods or outreach methods that you might be running alongside as well. So it's very, very important for those reasons. It's how millionaires have been made. It's how billionaires have been made. We know about the uh, Mr. Beast who is at a hundred of well, $500 million as of this year, based on the, uh, his online presence that, he, that he's got and the businesses and the re revenue that he's been able to generate because of it. Um, and also Kylie Jenner, the youngest billionaire, self-made billionaire, and all of this is, a, a lot of it is down to their online presence. You know, you can grow your warm audience. Now, th that is actually the compounding, that is what's going to be compounding when you're going to be doing organic marketing. It is going to be your your audience. Your content you're going to make, You sometimes people think that it's just going to be left in the back, and a lot of times it is. But what keeps them growing and getting stronger and stronger is your audience so they're going to be learning from you they're going to be you know you're going to be giving them value they're going to be the trust is going to be increased in you so whatever you're going to be selling whatever you're going to be doing what products products or services you've got they're going to be much more likely to purchase those and there's a lot of other little, little bits and bobs that i wanted to go through but i want to stick to the main thing because i don't want to get too carried away here i wanted to just plant a few seeds now i want to build a picture in your mind because what this is how I see organic marketing is I see it as a, a, a tree. I see it as an inbound lead generation tree. Let's call it the inbound lead tree. And there are three seeds that I want to be planting, which is going to grow into this lead tree, this uh, organic lead tree. The first seed that I want to talk about now is going to be consistency. Now, we have to be consistent with whatever we do if we want to be successful at it. And it is no different with the, with posting organic content. So if you're not able to show up regularly, if you're not able to be consistent with it, you're going you're gonna to lose. And this is one of the things that I teach as well. And we've got tools that we use to help with consistency and processes and things make it a whole lot easier. Um, that's one of the first seeds that we need to make sure is that people use like scheduling software they've got spreadsheets and that's those are the sorts of things that i i actually use as well now another aspect the the second of the th three seeds that i think that are ve is very important for having an organic presence is actually thinking about it in the long term so there's the time aspect to it as well so you've got the consistency and then you've got the time aspect now we have to think about this in not in a year or you know even six months or two years the people who think about these things in decades, who think about what impact their social presence is going to have in 10 years or 20 years, those are the sorts of people that are going to be successful. And that is a sort of mindset that we need to get ourselves into thinking long term. So if we can think in decades, we're most likely going to be successful with that. Now, the, the, the third seed is value. Now, I think this is one of the most important seeds that we can plant alongside these other two seeds. But value is basically what our whole content needs to be surrounded by or it needs to be at the core of our content because what we're doing is we're giving our market or we're giving our audience or the people who are in our target audience value 
in exchange for their attention, in exchange for their eyeballs. So what we're trying to do is build what's known as goodwill within the market. And the way we build that goodwill and that trust and that relationship is by giving them value. So you're going to be hitting, you know, those pain points, talking about the problems that they've got. You know, we're going to be talking about how to actually help them grow as people and give them the things that they need to be able to get to the next level. That's how we give value to our audience. It's not about, you know, hard selling, which is what a lot of people confuse having a having an organic presence as we are not going to be in there you know selling all the time and give asking for things and oh i've got this and i'll do this and you know here please click this and please do that and buy this no what we're going to be doing is we're going to be building goodwill and there's a book by gary v called jab 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 right hook which i always uh, refer to which is a way of him explaining how to build that value so the jab 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 is you know, you you helping your audience, you you know, giving back to them and giving the value and being there and being helpful. And the ho and the uh, right hook is when you ask. That's when you when you're sort of in when you're able to ask uh, for more of a likelihood of having the value reciprocated or having something given back to you. And it's what Alex Almosi mentions as well. And you know, he says in his book. He sort of supercharges what Gary Vee says in a way, which is the jab, 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 right hook. He says, give, 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 and then you can uh, then you can ask. Because when you've given enough, the market sort of is, is the, the level is sort of you're able to ask in a way because you've built up enough of that goodwill, as we've been saying. So, you know, um, sometimes when you actually give, don't even ask the market sometimes feels entitled or sorry obliged to actually give anyway so that's why value is so important so like i said you know we're thinking about doing things consistently we're planting that seed con and, and then the second seed we're thinking about is the time aspect doing it long term and the third aspect is value so once these three seeds are sown once these are planted then we can start watering these seeds. Now, this is another thing that I teach my clients because I don't want to be posting content for them or creating things for them when their foundations for their business isn't there either. So we need to make sure that they're thinking about um, what they're gonna water these seeds with, as I, I like to sort of explain it. So I've come up with seven reasons or seven things that I, I think are important for business owners to know and I end up teaching them about. Um, in terms of what to water the seeds with. So the first thing, uh, let's just call this fertilized water. So the fertilized water is water, but it's fertilized with these seven components. So the first component that we're gonna be um, including in this water mixture is having a product market fit. Now this is something that you should already know about if you're a business owner, if you're starting up, this is something that you should know about. You need to understand your audience. You know, it's really important to know who your audience is and what their wants, what their needs are. You need to match your product to the market. Now this is an important thing. Now people sometimes want, they've got this, Oh, I've got this thing that I feel like is going to do really well, but you need to make sure that you're actually adapting to the market. Your product, your service is adapting to the market, not the other way around, because the market will most likely not adapt to you. So the number one thing, uh, so, sorry, the first thing, actually not the number one, but the first thing on the fertilized components list is have a product market fit. Now, the second thing to add to this fertilizer is having a clear value proposition. Now, very straightforward. It's just that your target audience should understand what makes your service special, what is what what benefits it, it is to them, and how it's actually different from uh, what the, what the market is offering at the time. So you need to sort of make yourself uh, look valuable in that sense and make sure that your service is deemed as valuable in comparison to what's out there already. Third thing is have an irresistible offer. Now, again, um, this is a very, very important thing because you need to ensure that your customers understand what they're getting is best. And again, this value comes into this as well. So you need to make sure you're sort of showing enough value or sort of showing that you've given enough value to the audience or your target audience and tell them why the um, product or offer is amazing. Number four is brand identity and consistency. Now, this is actually one of the main steps that I have to make sure is done properly because when we're sort of putting a magnifying glass on our brands, when we're posting online, when we're exposing them to the world, 
you know, we need to make sure that their brand identity and consistency is there. So what I mean by that is, you know, they have a, a brand voice, they have a personality around their brand, they may have slogans, they may have colors that they use. These are the sorts of things that we need to make sure are in place before we um, start posting online uh, as well. Now, the fifth thing is service delivery. And what I mean by service delivery is as a brand, if they're working with me or I'm working with them, I need to make sure that their service is a good service like they need to make sure that they are always improving you know they've got systems they've got processes in place to make sure that their customers are happy they're getting what they want and they're always staying ahead of the curve you know you need to make sure that your service delivery is doing well or as best as it can be so that your organic marketing methods are met with positivity as well and the sixth thing is resource allocation and commitment. Now, what I teach my um, clients and the business owners who work with me is about allocating time and the correct amount of budget and the correct amount of resources to understanding and working on their uh, organic marketing strategy. Because, you know, if you're going to ask somebody else to do this for you, you need to know how to do it yourself. Then you'll have that reassurance that, you know what, yeah, uh, you know, this, this person or this team is doing a good job. So... You know, you need to make sure that they're doing the right thing. So make sure you've allocated uh, enough time for yourself and enough resource, enough money to be able to invest into learning or finding out about how organic marketing works. And the seventh thing I have to say is knowing your online landscape. Now, this is in another thing that I teach as well about what platforms are, so sort of what, what sort of personality each platform has. So what sort of a, uh, a strategy we're going to go for if we're on TikTok, if we're on Instagram, if we're on LinkedIn, because on LinkedIn, the people who are usually on there aren't mostly on other platforms. So we have to be able to sort of dial into them and sort of speak to them when they are on each specific platform. And, and this is what I mean. You, before you hire somebody else to do these things for you, you need to have an understanding about this yourself as well. So that's that. This is ma ma mainly what I think. This is mainly what helps grow this inbound organic lead tree i should call it the organic lead tree so this is what helps builds this organic lead tree and i think that if you have got these things dialed in you're you know there's no way you can't you can't be successful in doing this and i've seen that doing this properly has got the potential to actually overtake all of the up oh, sorry all other outreach methods you know you can overtake uh, paid ads as well um, in terms of return on ad spend, it is one of the most profitable ways that you can get leads. Um, so I, I definitely vouch for doing this uh, based on what I know and what I've seen. Um, so yeah, that's that. Um, I've actually seen that organic marketing has got the potential to overtake other outreach methods, other paid advertising methods that you're using to generate leads and income. If you do it right, and if you follow these steps, if you make sure that these three seeds are planted that I talked about. And if you make sure that you have a general understanding about what your, you know, what your product, your service and what your business is, you know, the foundations of your business as well. Because like I said, we're going to be putting a magnifying glass on your brand, on your business by having an organic online presence. And we need to make sure that we're doing it right. And and yeah, so so that's that. Um, by the way, if you yourself are a small to medium business owner uh, or you're a startup, you're thinking about, you know, starting this sort of stuff, um, there is a link in the description and don't worry, you know, you don't have to click on it and it's not your, your 997 course, it's not like a free webinar or an ebook or whatever, it is, it is a video on there and um, all, if you watch it, it just shows how I, how I work with businesses and what I do and, and how I help. If you're not interested in any of that, that's absolutely fine. I just hope that you learn something from this video. You've gained value from this video. You've got a clearer understanding as to what organic marketing is and why I think is important and why you should maybe consider doing it and, and having that as a channel alongside your other channels of uh, generating revenue for your business. Um, so yeah, that's it for this video. Uh, you know, don't forget to like the video. If you do like it, you'll probably get other videos similar to this recommended to you by YouTube as well. And it might help you in your organic marketing efforts also. Um, but honestly, I just really genuinely appreciate you watching till the end. And, um, you know, you're the person and the reason that I make these videos for people like you. So, you know, if you've got questions, queries, if you've got any comments you want to leave, any suggestions you want to give me, feel free. Um, but otherwise, have an amazing day and thanks for watching till the end. Bye.